We want to talk about the map of COVID-19. It's changing every day in the U.S. and abroad. Well, the U.S. has blocked most travel from China and Europe. What's happening within our borders is still largely a mystery. China's severe quarantines have proved to be effective. They've had a total of nearly 81,000 cases and near 3,200 deaths. But look at the trend, and you see that top orange line? The virus is not spreading quickly at all anymore. Elsewhere, this animation from the BBC starts in late February, when a cruise ship had more cases than any country outside China. Soon, South Korea shows cases spiking. By the end of February, cases in Italy and Iran jump. March 10th, the United States finally arrives on the list. But the numbers are deceiving. South Korea is now testing as many as 20,000 people a day. The Centers for Disease Control in the U.S. reports specimens rather than people tested. Each person in the U.S. contributes at least two swabs or specimens if they're tested. So the total number of people tested from January to this week is somewhere between five and 7,000. Utah has fewer known cases than three of our neighbors, Nevada has seven, Arizona nine, and Colorado has 34. Idaho and Wyoming don't have any confirmed cases so far. And what the doctors have been telling us locally here in Utah today is that the point of all of these dire sounding things that we're telling you today is that our numbers aren't so high right now and they want to make sure that we don't see that spike that they saw in other countries. So doing what they're talking about, they want that to be a gradual increase, and then our hospitals can handle it, they'll be able to serve people well, and if we keep it that way by taking all of these actions, it should make the whole thing manageable. That's the hope.